Hey, what's up? It's Saweetie, and this is my greatest party story ever. So I was like 14 years old at my best friend's house. We were really bored and we were just trying to find something going on. So we decided to borrow her sister's car. So we both didn't have our license, but between us both, I was a better driver. I knew how to drive since I was in fifth grade. My dad is originally from the country, so they drove like tractors out there and I guess it's normal for people to, you know, drive early, so he would take little 10 year old me out driving. I used to drive around parking lots and even on the freeway sometimes. I'm the original baby driver. So anyway, it's like 12 a.m. We get dressed in like super tight jeans, you know, the ones without no pockets on them to make our butts look big. Super small tank tops, you know, like minimal clothing. The belly is out, the arms are out. It's the middle of the winter time, so it's cold, but we just trying to look cute. We were like the most fly 14 year olds you've ever seen, but also probably the coldest. We got the keys from her sister. All my girls, they used to sneak out. You know, you gotta play music loud. You put the pillows underneath the covers, the whole shebang, and that's exactly what we did. We got out and we got the car and it just off into the night. I'm driving, obviously, because I'm an amazing driver, as I already said. Khadija's sister's car was kind of like, you know, old school, like bucket, poofy. It was cute, but you know, it wasn't the most expensive thing. So we had two problems. We were almost out of gas, turned that thing on, and it said E already. So no gas in the car and we had no money. Plus, we needed to find out where the boys was at. So we decided to go pick up another friend of ours. She wasn't really our friend, more so an acquaintance and she was you know a rich girl that knew all the boys you know? so we swing by her crib she hops in we pull off i literally look at the gas thing i'm like oh my gosh we're on e i look at my friend oh my gosh we're on e girl we been knew we was on e she's sitting in the back seat she can obviously see that if we didn't get gas we wasn't going nowhere so she immediately offered some money which was the plan. So problem one is solved. Now we gotta go find the boys. So I had just moved from the Bay Area to Sacramento and I didn't really know anybody. And our friend, you know, she was super nice, really pretty, but she wasn't leading us to the boys like we thought she was gonna do. The guys kept swerving her. Like she'd be calling them and they'd be dodging her. And we're literally just trying to cheer her on. We're like, okay girl, just call him back. Maybe he's doing something. Like we were really just, you know, just trying to kick it that night. So we got cute, we got the gas, but now we have nowhere to go. So we're driving around the Thomas, Sacramento, kind of same thing by each other, just trying to find something to do. And we finally find a house party that's popping. It's a garage party in the hood. If you're from Sacramento, you know the garage parties, you know, over there is super fun. Me and my best friend love to dance, so we're just having a really good time. When you're dancing with a guy and he gives up or he falls or he does something where he can't keep up, it's called breaking him. So, you know, we dancing and if we break a guy, we're like, oh yeah, we broke him. So we at the party, didn't really find anybody that we was interested in, you know, none of them guys was my type. So we're driving around again. I'm starting to get irritated because, you know, plan A was executed. We cute, we got gas, but nowhere to go, no boys to meet up with. So I'm just kind of over the night by now. We stop at a red light and a cop car pulls up beside us. I'm 14, she 14, we 14, no licenses, and we're just scared sitting at the stoplight next to a cop car. I don't know what got into me, but for some reason I put my foot on the gas and I run the red light. I mean, I don't know, maybe it was the pressure, but all of my good driving skills go out the window and I kind of just crack. I feel like God was just on our side that night because the cop must have been eating a donut. He must have just got a call or something because he didn't pull me over. But now my heart is beating so fast. Could he just cussing me out? She's like losing her mind. We're yelling at each other. Why you run the red light? And I'm just like, bitch, you don't even know how to drive. Don't talk to me that way. And she's like, bitch, I can. And you just ran in my sister's car in front of the cops. Pull over, get the f out, I'm driving. So then I'm like, okay, girl, whatever. Drive, it's your sister's car, so if you mess it up, that's on you. So I pull over, hop out, and Khadija gets into the front seat. And we're trying to get the car back to the house before her sister notices it's gone. Homegirl in the back seat is just, you know, she's at this point, I feel like she feels awkward. We drop her ass off at the house and we start to head back to Khadija's. Khadija and I are still screaming at each other. She's still pissed off about the red light even though nothing happened. And then I'm pissed because she's actually not doing a bad job at driving. So we're literally about to get back to the crib at the intersection, turning onto the street where the apartments are. This girl runs into a pole and her sister runs out and is like, what the f 
Now I'm hella pissed cause it's just like, girl, you just cussed me out for running a red light, but now you just run into a pole, wrecked your sister's car, and now she just caught us. Ha, that's what you get. And that's why you don't tell Sweetie she can't drive. If you wanna see more stories, more videos like this, make sure you click the link right here and subscribe to MTV.